Let's talk just a little bit about the performance of the car. And I want to uh, go ahead and share with you um, at the, this Hamden set, the V-Series is the purest expression of the passion that exists at the core of the brand. And inside that, performance and technology are highlights of this brand that we want to talk about. So there's a few numbers that we want to be permanently affixed in your brain as you leave here today. First of all, 640 horsepower, all right? That is what allows this vehicle to perform like it does. And you're gonna feel the torque of 630 pound-feet of torque, and it feels endless. As you're out there, and as you're going down the straight, and you have your foot in the throttle, um, you run out of guts long before it does as you're out on the track. And uh, it will just keep on pulling. And when you put all that together, we get zero to 60 of 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 200 miles an hour. It is the fastest Cadillac we have ever produced both zero to 60 and in top speed. It's the first Cadillac to ever achieve 200 miles an hour uh, right off the factory floor. No modifications whatsoever are required to achieve that level of performance. As we take a look at how it compares to the competition, it stacks up extremely well. First of all, um, we have an eight-speed automatic transmission that has shift speeds and response times that are is equivalent to the best of the DCTs yet it has the refinement of an automatic. The others have seven speeds. As we look at the torque, we have 630 pound-feet of torque. The others are in the 500 to 531 range. What's really important here that allows this car to be so agile and so quick is when you look at the power to weight ratio, this is important in the performance car world. Every one of our ponies only has to pull around six and a half pounds. When you look at the BMW, it's at 7.8, and the Mercedes is eight pounds per horsepower that it has to pull around. Again, zero to 60 time comparison. Um, ours is 3.7, the Mercedes with all wheel drive is at 3.6, okay? But from a top speed standpoint and a fuel economy standpoint, um, they don't compare. And we made a very conscious decision not to put all wheel drive in this vehicle. And the reason it, for it is pretty straightforward. It adds another 200 pounds to the car. It's on the front of the vehicle where the differential has to be. It increases your weight distribution on the front end, taking it further away from the near 50-50 balance. And it reduces the agility and the steering response that you have. So we made a very conscious decision to remain all-wheel drive to give you the driving character and the performance that we were after. And we haven't gone public with our fuel economy numbers yet. They just came in last week. Um, but our fuel economy will beat all of the competition, both in city and in highway. It should come in at 1724, is where we expect it to be. Now, when you ask me what I'm most proud of on this car, it's the split personality, the, the bimodal personality that it has, where you have this refined daily luxury sedan, and you have a true track performer all in the same car. With the simple flick of a button, and the flick of your foot, you can transform it from one to the other. The confident track performer, right from the factory floor. We have performance traction management. We'll give you a demonstration out there so you can see how launch control works and how this vehicle accelerates as quickly as uh, you can imagine. We have a performance data recorder that's mounted to the windshield that will record all the data that you might want to see, zero to 60, zero to 100, 100 to zero, time on the brake, time on the throttle, friction circle, max your lateral acceleration, and it will be recorded and Laszlo will take you through that in a little bit and how you do that. Magnetic ride control. Many of you are familiar with what magnetic ride control uh, is, some may not be. It is the fastest acting suspension system in the world, bar none. Going down the road at 60 miles an hour, it measures the road every one inch travel. Previous system took three inches of road surface to go ahead and adjust from full soft to full firm. The new system we have, it makes that adjustment in one inch of road travel at 60 miles an hour. That's how fast it responds. Tremble brakes, we're gonna take you through the display here, but these brakes are the most capable out there, largest front rotors that we know in the business on a sedan, and I defy you to try and fade them. 
Electronic limited slip differential. I'll take you through that display in a few minutes. Recaro seating uh, package that uh, Hamden talked about. We have some on display. I'll talk more about that. And then our Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires, which are summer only tires. We have a display here and we have Brandon from uh, Michelin here that will be uh, happy to answer your questions. We'll talk about that in detail in a minute. But at the same time, it's the refined daily driver. And it brings to you the technology that you would expect of a Cadillac. 4G LTE in every car. Wireless charging integrated in the vehicle so there's no need for cords anymore. Automatic parking. This car is capable, as fast as it is, will also park itself for both parallel and perpendicular parking. There's a curb view camera. I'll show you where it's integrated up front so that you can see that six inch curb that you pull up to and you don't damage your very exp expensive carbon fiber splitter. Standard 20 way adjustable seats come on the car, available Recaros as well, and advanced active safety systems. And then we have driver selectable modes that we'll take you through with demonstration on the track. So we have, we have a, a dry, wet, race. Uh, there's five different modes that we can take you through. And then the matte carbon fiber interior trim, which elevates the appearance and the execution on the interior with only the finest materials. If it looks like metal, it's metal. If it looks like carbon fiber, it's carbon fiber.